Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kim Forte and we have to take a look today at the latest on the Calgary Flames pending restricted free agent Matthew Kachuk. We got a little bit of information this week on that forward and his potential status with the Calgary Flames, what the potential contract length could be as well as his annual salary and in the event that he doesn't stay in Calgary, what are some other destinations we could see for Matthew Kachuk? We'll be going over all of that in today's video. So we're going to go with the first headline from The Athletic. The Flames are likely looking at a $9 to $10 million contract on a long-term deal with Matthew Kachuk. And that is meaning a $9 to $10 million annual average value. He has had reservations about a long-term extension in Calgary. Sources say St. Louis isn't the only club he'd consider if it doesn't work in Calgary. Others include the Dallas Stars, the Nashville Predators, the New York Rangers, the Vegas Golden Knights, just to name a few. Now, I think what's interesting in that segment, there's really two key things to separate here from this athletic article and their report. So the first thing is obviously the contract itself, the contract detail discussion. So this is from the Flames perspective. So they're probably going lower here. And if that's the case, and depending on what Kachuk is, where his head is at in terms of if he wants to stay in Calgary or not, that could be on the low end at looking at 9 to $10 million. I could see something here where Kachuk goes, settles for something as low as 9.5. Or he settles for as much as maybe close to 11 and maybe even a little more than 11 per year. Matthew Kachuk is just one of those players. And what he means to the Calgary Flames franchise, this is something that you really got to figure out what do you want long term here. So obviously the 9 to $10 million range is probably close to what he'll get, but he could get north of that. Again, depending on how long the Flames wait this out, if this goes into the summer, somebody offers $11 million or $12 million for Matthew Kachuk on an offer sheet, do the Flames stick with that? Do the Flames say, yes, we'll accept that offer, or do they let him go and take the probably two first-round picks and probably more than that in that sort of situation? So that's on that side of the front. Now, the other side of the front is... Let's get past the contract discussions. Let's talk about if Matthew Kuchuk wants to stay in Calgary. Now, the Calgary Flames look like a pretty decent team this year, but they've had their slumps here over the past two months. So there is reason to believe that, especially with the arena situation and all of that stuff going on, there seems to be a little bit of a changing of the guard in Calgary and the direction of this organization is Matthew Kachuk 100% sold on the Calgary Flames' future, again, with their arena and their ownership and management? So, obviously, the other destinations other than Calgary, obviously, where his dad played. Keith Kachuk playing as a member of the St. Louis Blues. He grew up in St. Louis, played in the U.S. National Development Program there in St. Louis. So there is obviously ties to him going back to the Blues. And you know the Blues would definitely be having very much interest in a guy like Matthew Kachuk. Not only for the fan appeal because of it's Keith Kachuk's son, but you also have just him as a player. He is an it factor player, which the St. Louis Blues have been in that conversation now for a while, ever since they lost their last captain, Alex Petrangelo. You know, now they look to be moving on from Tarasenko here. There is reason to believe that they are looking for that next star power, and that could be Matthew Kachuk in Calgary. Obviously, the Golden Knights, because they're involved in everybody. No real surprise there. The Dallas Stars is interesting if Jim Nill is truly interested in that route because that kind of comes into the conversation of something similar to Calgary, a fringe playoff team that seems like they're going backwards so what what does you know Kachuk think of the stars Nashville kind of the same situation as Calgary and Dallas so that's kind of what you're looking at and then the Rangers kind of like you know are, out of all these teams they're the more up and up team so you wonder if in terms of overall status as a team 
out of all of these teams, realistically, the New York Rangers are probably the most attractive option. You're playing in Manhattan. You're playing for the New York Rangers, an original six franchise. Oh, yeah, and they also have all the talent that's already there as they continue to build up and right now sit first in a difficult metropolitan division. So there is reason to believe Matthew Kachuk could end up on the East Coast with the Rangers, but the Rangers are the only team on the East Coast that was mentioned here. A lot of these teams are more Sunbelt teams like Vegas, like Dallas, like Nashville, probably not St. Louis, but you get what I'm saying. There's a lot of interest from all different teams here in Matthew Kachuk. So with that said, Matthew Kachuk, again, a first round pick of the Calgary Flames and has been a critical part of this team. But if the Flames, again, they're going to have some big decisions to make this summer. They just let go of their longtime captain, um, in the expansion draft last summer, sending out Mark Giordano. There's rumors about what could happen with Johnny Hockey Goudreau. What's the status of him? He is an unrestricted free agent this summer. What's going to happen there? And again, Matthew Kachuk, what's going to happen with Matt? And like I said, he is now going to be in his sixth NHL season here with the Calgary Flames. Almost 400 games in the NHL. Over 300 points, so he is close to a point-per-game player. He was the sixth overall pick in that 2016 NHL draft and has been nothing but a, a really a success in Calgary. And you look at his seasons, I mean, he's putting up uh, the last full 82-game schedule, the 2018-19 season. He put up 77 points in an 80-game schedule for him. Uh, but even this year, he's got 45 points in 42 games. He's over a point per game. So the sky's the limit for this kid. And let's not count out the fact that his dad was with the Arizona Coyotes um, when he was born. So his birthplace is Arizona when his dad Keith was playing in in Scottsdale. So again, that's probably more of an outlier pick. But if the Coyotes wanted to go that route, there could maybe be something to that. But like I said, there's obviously going to be more attractive options. This will be uh, Matthew Kachuk's third NHL contract. He had his first three years of his entry-level contract that finished up in 2019. He signed a three-year, $21 million contract that was $7 million per season, which because of his age at 24 years old, they are still getting a year of restricted free agency. So you're going to have to, <clears throat> excuse me, easily be paying him more than $7 million next year. He's definitely going to see a pay raise, especially with how this season has gone for him. So again, I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens here with Matthew Kachuk. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think of the Calgary Flames? What should they do with Matthew Kachuk? And for that matter, what should they do with all of their big contract guys? And what do you think the direction of the Flames is moving forward? They add some pieces like uh, Chris Tanev and Jacob Markstrom from Vancouver two summers ago. Yet they let go of their longtime captain, Mark Giordano. Some questions this year about Kachuk and Goudreau and even Sean Monahan for that matter. So let me know what you guys think. Should the Calgary Flames commit to the rebuild and the retool? Or should they try and add and make this team around what they already have better? Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again next time.